Hey Matt, so most Timba songs start with some sort of intro where the drummer is kind of uh, doing a wiro bass pattern on the hi-hat with some other accents. So here's an example. One, two, three, four. So that's sort of like what I would call the sort of the intro pattern, most basic intro pattern. So it's sort of doing this one E, one E on the kick drum, and then one E and a two and three E and a four and one E and a two and three E and a four and. And um, so that's pattern one. Okay, pattern two is kind of what usually happens next in most timba songs, which is uh, when the melody is being played or in our band, you know, when it's maybe a piano solo or a vibraphone solo or a pan solo. Um, it's what the patterns are what's called... Um, marcha abajo that's what they call it so it's usually a cascara based pattern you know maybe on the hi-hat and just sort of some accents on the kick drum and the snare so i'll play kind of a slow example of that one two three four See what I was doing there, it's almost like jazz where the kick and the snare are kind of just free form, you know, you can drop them wherever you want, and then the Cascara is kind of what holds the band together. Um, but probably the most basic version, if you just want a clear place to start, would be to do the Bombo Tumbao on the kick drum and pretty much leave it at that. And you could even do a two-handed pattern where the left hand is filling in just the spaces left by the Cascara. So here's an example of that. One, two, three, four. Something like that. Um, it's oh, it, probably pattern number three would be also a marcha a bajo. Um, they call, I think they call it a bajo because the energy is lower. And then later there's marcha arriba where the cowbells start and the energy goes up. Um, but uh, it's good to be able to do that with a backbeat. So, one, two, three, four. Um, Marcha, so now let's go on to Marcha Ariba, which is usually when there's a chorus happening. So in our band, it's when the vibraphone and the pan, or just the pan, is playing sort of the chorus. And the piano is going, doing the montuno, and everyone's kind of playing high energy. And so usually the drummer does a bell pattern like this. <laughs> should be doing four on the floor, so... Three. 
And uh, you know you could be doing clave with the other hand if you want. The left hand is not as important for this part, um, but uh, and you could be doing bombo tumbao or some variation of that on the kick drum. So. thing is the four and the floor hi-hat and the bell pattern and everything else is just sort of discretionary and extra um, and then uh, usually at some point in the song there's this what's called a breakdown where the bass stops playing a bass line and starts thumping and sliding and really making a lot of noise that way and that's where the right symbol usually comes in for the drum set so there'd be four on the floor with the hi hat and the wiro ride pattern on the uh, ride cymbal, and then the other two limbs are doing just all kinds of crazy stuff as you get more advanced. So I'll demonstrate a real basic pattern, and then I'll get more advanced. So one, two, three, four. like a drum solo as far as the left hand and the uh, kick drum are concerned and that's pretty much it that'll get you through pretty much every team of